Hello there, it's Martin Cole here. Welcome back. Um, it's time for a League 2 preview for the forthcoming season that gets underway in the next couple of days. Um, a bit of a delay since I did the Championship and League 1 because I've been very busy, but here goes with League 2 and we'll be doing the Premier League next week. Um, okay, let's look at it from a, a betting perspective. Um, the favourites are Stockport County. Um, that's because they've come up from the National League and they've been spending money. Um, I think it's if we look back historically, it's a big jump from the National League to, to, to winning League One. And so I, I can't I don't really see how six to one is any value. I mean, you know, they they've got to perform at a, a higher level and I don't think there's any value there. So I'm against Stockport County at six to one. Uh, Bradford are next in at 13 to 2. This is because Mark Hughes has been back with some money. Um, and I do see them contending for promotion. I mean, if, if he doesn't do it with the money that's been spent um, and the fan base that they've got, then, you know, he's failing and he'll be out of a job. But, um, you know, I think they're a safe each way bet for top six, really. But, you know, I wouldn't. Get, go mad about 13 to 2. Um, next in is Salford. I mean, you know, what can we say about Salford? It's a club that gets a lot of publicity. It's a club with a small fan base and a small ground. As I've said before in videos, I don't think the class of 92 are particularly good at managing a football club. And I think we've seen that over recent seasons, that they've not been able to achieve promotion despite the money spent and the plethora of managers that they've had. They've gone slightly different this year. Um, excuse me. They've got a guy whose name I've forgotten, but he's an under, he was an under-23 manager at Manchester United. So clearly they know him, the management. And perhaps they're trying to, you know, build something via the development youth model instead because they've clearly failed to make things work at the levels they've been buying in older experienced players so they're trying something different but uh, as always I think Salford are really hit and miss full stop so nine to one I'll definitely be against them uh ten to one Northampton yeah missed out last season really when they should have made at least the playoffs um can they maintain that performance? Well, you know, that, that they can be up there, but I mean, they've got to find the ability to get over the line, which they couldn't do last season. So whilst 10 to 1 is fair, it's not being really excited about. Um, then we jump to 16 to 1 and we find Leighton Orient. I don't mind Leighton Orient this season because they showed, you know, some glimmers of hope last season with the change of management and they started to pick up a bit. Um, so at 16 to 1, they're, they're not a bad bet, but I don't, I struggle to see them winning the league. I think they can be up there in the top six, but not as league winners. Um, at 18 to 1, there's three teams. I like Tramia Rovers because they were kind of second for a long way last season and blew it. But they obviously had ability. They obviously had the setup, the grounds half decent, they've got a reasonable support. So I thought 18 to 1 is a decent each way bet. If you're betting each way top six, then I don't see much wrong with backing Tranmere Rovers this season. Uh, Doncaster Rovers, they always seem a bit hit and miss to me. They're at 18 to 1 as well. Um, again, Doncaster's a fair sized town, you know, and they've got decent support. Um, but you know they need the, the club needs to pull it all together and i don't think they're really there yet with their current setup um i do like swindon at 18 to 1 i think swindon on game were very inconsistent last season i think at times they were the best team in the league but then again they were sort of like bottom half team some of the time as well but if they can kind of sort that out and get a level of performance that consistent then 18 to 1 will look big for Swindon Town so there's two teams at 18 to 1 Tramway and Swindon who you know I like but Swindon with the proviso that they've got to sort things out in terms of consistency 
if we then jump to 20 to 1, we find Gillingham and um, Neil Harris has had a clear out of Gillingham um, and he's brought in some new players. Um, I think the thing with Neil Harris is he's really predictable in the way he plays, 4-4-2, four, four, and I think he's quite easy to tactically play against. I think that you have a lot of drive, you know, he expects 100% from players. They really get have to get stuck in, otherwise they don't play. They get criticised if they don't deliver, but they get praised if they do well. Um, you know, if he can get that going and teams can't suss them out, then they could, I think they can border on top six, but I wouldn't be wanting to be on them at 20 to 1. Walsall, um, I think they've got a fairly new owner. I've been spending a bit of money, but, you know, we need to see significant improvement for them to challenge. So 20 to 1 looks big. Um, Crawley, 22 to 1. This is a team I have had a bet on at 40 to 1. They are now American owned by cryptocurrency related guys. Um, I'm not going to name them, but you, you can look up who the owners are. Very clever guys. Uh, they brought in Kevin Betsy as the manager. He was a lower division player, hard tackling, hard shooting fullback. I think he was a left back. Um, but was also a coach at Arsenal under 23. So, you know, he saw the other side of the game in terms of technique. So they are going to play, so I, I believe, a pressing model. And so they're going to need fit players and enough players. They have signed a few players. I think they're a very good bet at 40 to 1. I think they're just okay at 20 to 1. So I think the value is gone now. I think those that value has now been sucked out of it. Um, AFC Wimbledon, they seem to be in a bit of a muddle to me. I think because of the kind of way they're owned by the fans, etc. They're always put up as a, a good model. But I, I don't think they particularly are because they struggled a lot in Division 1 for a couple of seasons. Eventually got relegated and they look like getting relegated for most of the season. Um, and I don't see why they're going to bounce back, to be honest. I just don't see it. So I think 22 to 1 is not worth thinking about. Uh, 25 to 1, Newport County. Um, they've lost... Dom Telfer, um, where has he gone? Has he gone to Crawley? Maybe. But they've lost him and they've lost his goals. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, a team with a decent level of support. 25 to 1 could be big. Certainly able to get into a top six if they can, you know, get off to a good start. So not, not a bad pick at 25 to 1, Newport County. Then we jump to 33 to 1. I quite like Grimsby Town, who have come up. I mean, well well managed by Paul Hurst and, you know, a decent outfit. And he'll try to strengthen if they've got the money to do it. And I think they're a much worse 33 to 1 bet, you'll see. Um, uh, Carlisle are 33 to 1 as well. Um, their location in terms of the travelling you have to do to get up to that part of Cumbria makes them a decent team to play at home but equally it reverses away um i think they can probably do enough to stay up but i don't see them getting towards the top six uh crew are 40 to 1 along with stevenage i think crew are in a bit of free fall i think they were a feeder club for the teams in the area at one time with their academy that seems to have died off a bit and I think they need to just try to consolidate in League 2 and avoid the danger of a further drop into the National League. Stevenage, yeah, again, I see them struggling. I don't see why they're not going to struggle, Stevenage. Um, you know, not, not a hot bit of football, can't really attract players, although it's a good location if you can afford to live in those sort of, in the surrounding area. But yeah, I don't I don't see a model where they challenge anything really. Um we jump we then jump to the we get to the bottom now. Uh fifty to one's Hartlepool. I can see Hartlepool doing well. Again, it's a hard place to go to, Hartlepool, whoever whoever if anyone's ever been there, it's a long way. The weather can be ridiculously bad. There's not much going on in Hartlepool, to be honest. No surprise to you there. Sorry, Hartlepool. But yeah, 50 to 1, you know, I, I could see them 
certainly making the top half, you know, and maybe pushing up there. Uh, Rochdale, another club, there's ownership problems, fan problems, every sort of problem, really. They say they've sorted it out mostly, but I, I'm not so sure about that. I think 50 to 1 is a fair reflection, and I'm going to think they're going to be fighting relegation at the bottom. Colchester as well, that, that they seem to be a team that's not going the right way. And I think 50 to 1 reflects their odds. And I think they could be fighting in you know, a relegation battle as well. They've got a lot of older players. And they, you know, will struggle to see out the season, I think, because of, you know, injuries, etc. Because it's going to be, even with the, well, I don't know whether they're going to break or not, Colchester. Probably not for the World Cup. But it's going to be a long old season for them. And, and I see them struggling. And then we get to the last two, 66 to 1s, Barrow and Harrogate. Um, yeah, I think Barrow did okay to turn it around. I think Phil Brown was there, wasn't he, last season? And he sorted them out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that, again, that they're a team that do well to, to stay in the league, I think. And that's really there. That's where they are. Harrogate, 66 to 1. I would expect them to do a bit better this year. I mean, they, they were in and out, in and out, lots of goals in their games either end. I think they've got a bit more potential to get further up the league. So I don't think they'll struggle for relegation, but I don't think they'll be, you know, anywhere near the top as well. So that's it, really, League 2. So those to swerve at the odds. Stockpool, 6 to 1, swerve. Walsall, 9 to 1, swerve. Gillingham, 20 to 1, Swerve. Um, to back, Tranmere, 18 to 1. Grimsby, 33 to 1. And a little bit on Hartley Port, 50 to 1. Candidates for relegation, uh, bet or bet to be relegated. Stevenage, Rochdale, Colchester. Yeah, those three, really. So that's it. So we're done with the EFL, and we're looking forward to a start. Friday evening with the championship, Saturday with the other teams. Much to look forward to in the season. I will be back with updates. I say monthly, but they'll be a bit random. But I'll pick up on each league when there's something decent to say when a few games have been played. I'll also look at the Premier League um, next week and do a video for that. But until then, good luck and goodbye.